Hi guys, and welcome to American Literature and Advanced Composition. Um, my name is Savannah Sanders. And I'm Miss Angry. And we are actually co-teachers for both of these classes together. Um, so we're just going to walk you through a little bit um, about each course. Um, if your student is a junior, um, they're in our American Literature class. Um, that focuses on educating the student as a whole throughout um, American literature. So bringing in current pieces to match with classic texts and um, preparing them for that EOC that's going to be at the end of the year. And then if your student is a senior, um, they're in advanced composition. Um, and that class is really focused on preparing the student for their next stage of life, um, whether that be the military, a two or four year school, the technical or vocational college, um, or the military. Um, we're preparing any student for what could come next um, and really, really excited to see what they come up with. So um, we're going to walk you through a little bit about our classrooms um, and get you started. Um, we do need you to sign in. So you can actually scan this QR code with your cell phone camera. It's just going to ask basic questions. Who's, uh, who is your student? What's your name? Um, a good cell phone number to reach you at, just so we have the most up-to-date contact information. Um, so we'll give you just a second to fill that out. Okay, um, a little bit about me. Again, my name is Savannah Sanders. Uh, this is actually my second year at Marietta and I just love it here. Um, you'll see on the right hand side of the screen, um, I have my contact information, the best email address to reach me at, as well as the cell phone number. Please feel free to call or text um, with any questions throughout the year. I'm more than happy to answer um, after hours, work hours, anything I can do to help uh, you or your students succeed and understand what's going on in the class. So feel free to reach out and the office hours that you see um, listed below um, are actually standard for any teacher that teaches at Marietta High School. Um, these office hours are uh, specified for students. So if you need a meeting, um, I'm more than happy to accommodate that. I just need you to send me an email and it will likely be sometime on Friday um, to reach out because that's when we have the most flexibility within our schedule to um, schedule out those meetings. But these office hours are for students to reach in. Any questions, comments that they need help with an assignment, um, absolutely let them drop by. That meeting ID that you see on the screen acts like my Zoom cell phone number. Um, so if you join a meeting on Zoom, you can type that number in. It might ask you for a password. It's just my last name. Um, and I'm more than happy to help out um, your student in any way. Um, same information on the left-hand side, uh, but on the right-hand side, you see my schedule. <clears throat> um, I am so blessed to teach three different sections with Miss Angry. Um, and then I do, outside of the English department, teach a peer leadership class as well um, with a assistant basketball coach, Coach Estes. Um, and so this is where you can find me um, in case you need anything else from me. So I'm Miss Angry. I am the co-teacher. I teach with Miss Sanders for three blocks, and I am honored to do so. Um, my office hours are listed below, as Miss Sanders mentioned. We all have the standard office hours from 7:30 to 8:30 and 2 to 4:30. For students, if you need to meet with me, I'm also available on Friday. Shoot me an email, and we can set that up. We can arrange that. And the meeting ID is listed there like my phone number. Um, my password, I think, is fitting to be happy because, yes, my last name is Angry. However, I am not angry, I promise you. Um, my email is listed, um, as you see, and also you can sign up for Remind and you can contact me that way as well. The information is listed on the screen. So I have three classes with Ms. Sanders, yay. <laughs> and um, uh, when I'm not working with American Lit, I'm actually teaching basic reading and writing. Those are my ESOL classes. And once again, my contact information is listed as well. The syllabus breakdown that you see below is the same for both courses. Um, so you see a 68% summative. Um, those are the big grades for kids typically. Uh, the tests, the essays, the projects, the presentations. Um, those fit underneath that big umbrella and it is weighted as the majority um, for students. And then you also see the 40% for uh, formative grades. That includes things like classwork, homework, quizzes, 
um, those smaller grades that kind of accumulate as we're building knowledge um, to lead to those summative grades. So I um, just want to make sure that you understand the breakdown in case you see something in Aspen that you might have a question about. It falls usually in one of those two categories. These are our remind codes for American literature. Um, so ask your student to find out which section they're in. Please feel free to jump on those, um, sending out reminders uh, for those big test grades or those summative grades that students will see in Aspen. We wanna make sure that we're giving them plenty of heads up. Um, so we would love for you to be a part of those notifications uh, for your student um, to make sure that you are also up to date on any information. So I'll give you just a second to grab one of those. And then these are our remind codes for advanced composition. Um, so again, this is if your child is a senior, um, feel free to go ahead and grab those codes. Um, and we would love to join you on our journey, getting your student into the next uh, phase of their life. So please feel free to reach out if you have any questions. We really appreciate you watching this quick video and getting ourselves a little bit more acquainted. Um, hate to be, you know, virtual, but this is ultimately best for us and our students right now. And we look forward to being back in the classroom with them very, very soon. Thank you. Thank Bye. you.